I'm persuaded that although people give lip service to relativism, in fact, nobody can live that way. It is impossible to live with other persons regarding them uh, as pure means to an end and not thinking that there are objectively right and wrong ways that you would want to treat them and that you would want them to treat you. Very often you can find out what a person really believes as opposed to what he says by how he reacts when people treat him in a certain way. For example, I had a friend who was a philosophy professor at a, a university and a student in his philosophy class turned in a paper to him in which he argued for moral relativism, that there are no moral values, no moral duties, everything is relative and so forth. And my friend put an F on the paper and sent it back to the student, even though it was a good piece of work. And the student came into his office angry and said, how can you give me this F? This was a good piece of research. How can you do that? And the professor looked at and he said, uh, well, uh, it was handed in in a blue folder. And I don't like blue folders. The grade is an F. And the student said, but that's not fair. You, you can't do that. And the, the professor said, it's not what? Isn't this the paper that argued that there is no such thing as fairness and moral rightness and wrongness? And all of a sudden, the student got the point. And at that point, the professor changed the grade to an A. And, and turned it back into the student. I think the student learned more through that experience than he did through writing the paper. See, it's how we react when others treat us in ways that we think are wrong that our real moral sensitivities come out. So I would try to talk with a person who claims that there is no objective moral values, no moral duties, just about his life, about how he lives his life, uh, how he reacts if, say, the church were to institute the Inquisition in this country and begin to, to, to execute people if he thinks that wouldn't be a wrong thing to do. And, and I find that with 98% of people who are sincere and not just wanting to argue, 98% of people can be very quickly brought to the point that they do see that there are really objective moral values and duties. And then that really faces them with a crisis because they've got to decide if these really are objective, where do they come from? What's the foundation for them? And I think this really does provide powerful reason to believe in a transcendent good that um, is the source of these values and duties.